Here is everything that you need to know about using external storage on iOS 13 and iPad OS. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Let's walk through external storage with iOS 13 and iPad OS. First starting off with our iPhone. Many things will work with external storage using iPhone with iOS 13, such as SD cards. Just connect them with Apple's SD card adapter and they'll be available within the Files app and you don't have to go through the Photos app. Other accessories are available using Apple's camera adapters using USB-A. Now some of them require too much power, like this XQD card reader requires too much power to work just natively here, but some accessories still do work this way. It's going to depend on the accessory to determine if it will work with the standard USB-A adapter. Now you can get some additional accessories to work over on iPhone if you have the newer USB 3.0 camera adapter. It looks like this and you'll notice a lightning cable spot and a USB-A connector. That way you can plug in power at the same time you're plugging in your drive. So in this case, I went ahead and connected my different Victorinox drive. This one gave me an alert that it used too much power, but using the USB 3 camera connection kit, it worked just fine. That doesn't mean all USB drives will work with iPhone and iOS 13. This Glyph SSD did not work even with that faster USB 3 camera connection kit. So it looks like Apple still has work to do or they need to update their actual adapters for in the future. But right now, thumb drives and SD cards should work just fine. Over on the iPad, you have many more possibilities. If you have an older iPad, you can use the lightning adapters, but if you have an iPad Pro with USB-C, it's even easier. Glyph just plugs right inside of my iPad Pro and I easily have access to all the files right there stored on it. I can move those files around, I can select multiple at once, I can rename, I can zip them, I can share them with other apps. It's kind of amazing how much stuff you can do using files over on your iPad. You can even store them locally now as Apple has opened up local storage. So you don't even have to throw it into some other cloud service, you can simply store it on your iPad. We wanted to see how far we could push our iPad Pro. So we pulled out a USB-C adapter and connected a lot of new accessories to our iPad Pro. We are able to connect four external storage devices at once, the maximum we could fit here on our Uni Accessories USB-C hub. We have one USB-C cable connected to our iPad and another one connected to power. Then we have this white USB-A cable connected to my Lacie rugged drive, another USB-A cable connected to my Glyph Atom RAID SSD, a USB-A Victorinox thumb drive, and my Nikon D500 SD card. A total of four external devices all plugged in at once over USB-C to my iPad Pro. All four of them show up here in my locations menu in the Files app. And anything can be accessed using the share sheet from third-party applications. Everything you've seen so far for us to demo has all been mobile drives, mobile SSDs, mobile HDDs, thumb drive, SD cards, all of that. But this is not limited to that. You can connect over SMB to local network share drives, or you can even connect desktop hard drives that are externally powered. All of those will work as well here on your iPad with iPad OS iPad OS does a great job of letting you manage these files, there are new sorting options within files, and a bunch of other further customizations. Before we showed you how you could move multiple files at once and drag and drop them here inside of the Files app. But what makes it even more impressive is you can now have multiple instances of files running at the same time. So whether you're opening it from your dock, or if you just grab a file, drag it to the side, it'll pop up a new window. Now I can have two files windows open at the same time, moving my documents freely between them. I'm now going to go ahead and select multiple files here on the left side from my SD card. I'm going to select multiple of them either by multi-touch going around, or I can use the select option and just check a little box on top of each one. When I have them selected, I have a more button in that lower right hand corner of the application, which now allows me to copy, compress, or rotate so there are quick actions and compress and decompress is now supported natively on iOS without having to rely on third party applications. Once I hit compress those files into a zip drive, it's going to go ahead and zip those up and now I have a new zip file right here on that SD card. I have to say we were very impressed with how easy it is to work with files on iPad OS and even iOS 13 on the iPhone. It is extremely robust and Apple has done a great job here and we can't wait to see what third party developers do with this newfound technology. Let us know your thoughts down below in the comments and reach out to me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. 
And until next time, we'll see you later.